big fan of the small bay popper along the sod banks, South Jersey, Central Jersey. I know it works up in Long Island, throughout New England as well. And when I'm at ICAST, you know, we're talking to national manufacturers. They're from all over the place. But it's really cool when you get to Orlando and start talking about products we use locally by a guy who makes the product locally in Jersey. Matt Lusner with Intent Tackle. It's a relatively new company. It's only a couple of years uh, five? Five years. Five, five years. years. Yes, You'll sir. find your product all over the place. Over there. Yes, and absolutely. You're, you're Bass Pro, Cabela's, Tackle Direct, local tackle shops. And I think as we get on through this little presentation, probably more tackle shops along the way. But these, let's start with the poppers, the Coastal Series and the Bay Series poppers. Take me through that, um, kind of what what brought that on and, you know. Yeah, so huge, huge fan of popping bass on yeah. the banks back home. So me and my buddies, always were into the, the, the poppers, so we started small uh, with the Bay Series poppers in seven different colors, and then additionally, everybody knows the famous striper run out <laughs> off of New Jersey, New York, Montauk. We got into the little bit bigger of a popper that you can kind of use, hence the name Coastal Series, off the coast of Jersey, New York, things like that for the, the, the bass, and obviously other species, not specific to just striper. But that's kind of where those two product lines were, were, were born. I think folks will appreciate this too, because I met Matt last year and I was able to walk away with one of these, um, which they do work, of course. You hear that ball bearing in there, but notice that they're, they're all the inlines too. Yes. And that's that's a really cool consideration. Yeah, that's a little unique to our company, believe it or not. I think some more companies now, bigger companies might be moving that way, but we were one of the first to market with those to bring both inline on the front and back with the through haul construction. And they're VMC hooks, they're real, real oh, good cool. hooks. We're, we like to really conserve the fishery when we're out there fishing. And I tell you what, it is, not only helps with the fish, but it also helps with the fishery. <laughs> Especially when you get piled up in bluefish. Yeah, Because <laughs> that, that does happen. Yep. Also the bucktail line, which I think is really cool. And it's, there's a you know, the neat little flash in the bucktails yep. that you can see throughout. Little, yeah, that's, little that's Mylar it. flash. Yep, that's our Mylar series bucktails. We also have the Pro Series, which is your traditional deer hair. I'm actually more... Uh, I'm more into the Mylar series, especially out in the ocean in cleaner water. You really get that flash. We go down to Cape Charles once a year. We leave actually in about 30 days from now. We'll be down there for our annual trip. Cobia. And, yep, all the intent guys go down there and we cobia fish right from my tower and my 23 blackjack and that Mylar last year actually outfished live eels. That's awesome. Yep, turns nice, their head. Nice line of bucktails if you're looking to give a shot at one of those. And of course we get from bucktails to the jigs on the bottom, the, the Structure Series jigs, uh, good tog jigs? Yes, great tog jigs, great for sheep's head. A lot of people use them for pompanos down in Florida. Oh, are they and, doing that now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The smaller ones that really seem to be big uh, in uh, uh, down here in Florida for the pompano and redfish, actually. They'll just set them on the bottom. You know, they'll strip them, you know, we strip them with obviously fiddler crabs, things like that. For the sheep's head and the tog, we go out to the reefs along the bridges. Real good product. And uh, we just added three new colors actually this year, which is kind of the white legger. You have the orange and black and then the chartreuse with some orange spots. That was kind of born out of, uh, you know, the need from our customers. And then also additionally, some local tackle shops were really asking for those colors. So we brought them along in 20 Certainly throughout the fisherman range, you've heard maybe about the sheep's head expanding, but South Jersey, we've had a phenomenal sheep's head run for the uh, last bunch of years, yeah. and that's really blossoming into Central and sometimes Absolutely. into North Jersey as well. Yep. These are the things that you'll find at many local tackle shops right now, but I do see something up here that we're not seeing just yet, right? Yeah, yeah. This is kind of new to, you know, uh, not this year's show, but we we've been in the we've been took about two years, I would say, to design this bullet jig and it's pretty neat because it's kind of it's CNC fabricated so the process of making this has been a little bit um, it's been complicated to say the least but we put ball bearings in here you can drop this thing from the Walt Whitman bridge onto the concrete slab below and it will not break apart so we're actually in the process of patenting this and I tell you what this is another jig that really works well in our local waters this is this is outstanding so look for the bullet head coming at some point yep. but right now you can find the intent tackle line throughout the region and uh, it's always great to see Jersey guys here in Thank Orlando you. for the show I appreciate it good luck <laughs>